Welcome back to yet another video. Premiere Pro is notorious for being very slow and crash easily. So today I'm gonna show you five tips on how to make things run a lot, lot smoother on any machine. If you've been struggling with slow performance and long render times, then this video is for you. So let's jump on my computer and dive straight into it to get your editing up to speed. First, let's tweak some preferences. We wanna allocate as much computer memory to Premiere as we can. In order to do that, you wanna go to Premiere Pro and then click Settings and then Memory. And then you wanna allocate simply more RAM to Premiere Pro. That ensures that Premiere has enough processing power and other apps are not preventing it from, you know, using up the resources of your computer, basically. The next tip is telling your computer to let the hardware do all the heavy work and the heavy lifting rather than the software, which tends to be a lot slower. So in other words, you wanna make sure you're using GPU acceleration to speed up the rendering and effects processing. In order to do that, you want to go to File, Project Settings, General, and then under Video Rendering and Playback, you want to choose a setting which is called Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. Boom. Easy. If you found value so far, I would really appreciate a like on the video to help with the YouTube algorithm. All right, tip number three. If you are working with high resolution footage, you should consider using proxy. Proxies are kind of like low resolution preview versions of your video files that are much easier on a system. So in order to create proxies, you wanna right click on your footage in the project panel and then, you guessed it, click create proxy. And then just simply click on create proxies and choose a low resolution preset in the next dialog window. Then click OK. Now you prevent your computer from crashing easily when browsing through your timeline. Next up, tip number four. If you are still encountering like choppy playback, then you can simply lower the playback resolution in the program monitor. Now in the program monitor where you kind of like replay your main timeline, you click on the select playback resolution dropdown and simply choose a lower playback resolution, something like a quarter or one half or even one eighth. Easy. And lastly, when you are ready to export your video, you want to use hardware encoding to speed up the entire process. Now in the export window, under basic video settings, you click more and then you want to scroll down and make sure hardware encoding is enabled under performance. And before you go, here is another super useful bonus tip that I prepared for you. And that is about deleting the media cache. If you feel Premiere is still slow, then you should clear your media cache regularly. The media cache is a place that stores like temporary files that accumulate over time and tend to cause problems. In order to delete those files, simply go to Preferences, Media Cache, and in the Preferences, you click the Delete button next to Remove Cache Files. So you can choose to delete all cache files or only those that are not associated with your current projects. And I recommend to set it up so Premiere deletes the cache every 90 days or so. Once you made your selections, then simply click OK. And remember to restart Premiere Pro after clearing the cache for the changes to take effect. And there you have it. These tips should help you make Premiere Pro run insanely fast. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you found this helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video.